in the last lecture we had seen how to solve the problem by using plane's construction its method we had seen so today uh, we will try to solve one problem based on the plane's construction so here is the problem the crank and the connecting rod of reciprocating engine are 200 mm and the 700 mm respectively the crank is rotating clockwise direction at 120 radian per second uh, find with the help of the clean's construction what we have to find here they are given first velocity and acceleration of the piston this is the first one second velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod right so uh, this is the connecting rod uh, the midpoint d it is there its uh, velocity and acceleration we have to find out and angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod at the instant when the crank is at 30 degree to the inner dead center so this is the inner dead center and it is making an angle 30 degree right so this is the crank uh, oc and pc that is the connecting rod and the p it indicated this is the piston so we have to find out these things so first uh, we will see what are the given data so the distance they have given right so oc o to c distance it is given crank that is of the 200 mm so uh, we may convert into meter or you can keep as it is mm also but uh, here we convert uh, into meter so 0.2 meter we will get then the p to c distance that is the uh, connecting rod it is of the 700 mm so we will get 0.7 meter and the angular velocity omega they have given it is the 120 radian per second so now uh, first what we will do we will try to uh, draw the uh, velocity and acceleration diagram by using the clins construction method right so first we will draw this as it is so we will mark point o uh, with suitable scale uh, we will draw the crank so this is the crank Uh, then this is the horizontal line we will draw then the connecting rod so this is the point p piston point p so o that is the center the o to c connecting uh, sorry crank and this is uh, c to p that is the connecting rod and at the uh, point p that is a piston so now what we have to do we have to draw the first the velocity diagram we know that uh, how to draw the velocity diagram so whatever this po line is there uh, from point o draw one perpendicular line here to this po so this is the first thing then second this p to c uh, that is the connecting rod uh, from point c you have to extend the line which will cut just now which we had uh, drawn right so here it will uh, cut so this is the velocity triangle uh, you will get so where uh, this point the to line where it cross that i will mark it as a point m so this co it represent velocity of c with respect to o uh, so if you measure this co line it represent velocity of point c uh, this uh, o to m it represents velocity of p with respect to o o is the reference and velocity of p that is the piston velocity will get if you take o to m distance and uh, if you take c to m distance uh, it indicates the velocity of the connecting rod this cp so this is velocity of p with respect to uh, c so from this the triangle ocm we will get the velocity reading now next uh, we will draw the acceleration uh, diagram and then lastly we will calculate all the values which they have given in the problem Now next, what we have to do, uh, we have to take uh, this C as a center and O C as a radius, and then we have to draw one circle. So we take the O C as a radius and C as a center. We have drawn the one circle. Now second one, P C, this the connecting rod. We have to take the midpoint of this, right? And by taking uh, this midpoint and uh, uh, radius. or diameter pc you have to draw another circle right so first o to c as a radius c as a center the first circle second pc as a diameter and this point uh, d as a uh, the center and we had drawn the another circle 
so uh, we get the two circle they intersect here uh, this is the one point and this is the another point so this point will mark it as a k and this point it as a l so two circle where they crossed with each other now we will join the line connecting to this two point that k to l now see here uh, this is what the construction it over now here uh, with the green line you can see this is the acceleration diagram right so we will mark this point it as a q this is the point n and uh, now if you see the o c q n this is the acceleration diagram and o c m this is the velocity diagram right so here uh, o to c again it represents acceleration of c with respect to o that is acceleration of point c we can find out then uh, if you take o to n or n to o this is acceleration of p with respect to o that is acceleration of the piston then uh, this q to c it represents the radial acceleration of p with respect to c and then q to n it represents that is a tangential acceleration of p with respect to c and the c to n it represents the final acceleration of p with respect to c so this is the radial this is the tangential and this is the resultant acceleration of p with respect to c so this is uh, the overall the velocity diagram and the acceleration diagram uh, we had drawn uh, for this given problem now uh, we'll try to uh, find out the uh, value uh, which they asked so uh, we will measure this uh, o to m distance after drawing this o to m uh, with whatever the scale we have taken uh, from that we will get the o to m value it is 127 mm so that will convert into the meter that is 0.127 meter then uh, c to m distance we will uh, measure uh, you will get it is 173 mm and that will convert into the meter that is 0.173 meter then again uh, this uh, the q to n uh, this is the tangential uh, the acceleration right so this is q to n that is 93 mm uh, so 0 0.093 uh, meter and this o to n uh, that is the 200 mm you will get there is a 0.2 meter so here uh, we have measured the value which we require you can find out the other value also this if they ask the radial acceleration then you have to take q to c distance if they ask the final acceleration uh, of uh, the p with respect to c then you have to take c to n so here uh, we have taken the value which uh, we have to calculate or which they asked in the problem so for that we have taken these uh, four value now the first they asked the velocity and acceleration of the piston so this is uh, the p velocity of p and acceleration of the p uh, we have written we know that velocity of the piston p is equal to uh, how it is uh, already we are aware that velocity of p is equal to omega into o to m distance so here in the velocity diagram o to m it represents the velocity of the piston so uh, this distance already we measured that o to m uh, that is 0.127 this is the o to m distance and omega uh, they have given it is uh, 120 uh, radian per second right so this value already they had given uh, in the given data so we'll put all these values so 120 into 0 0.1 7 uh, then we will get a velocity of the piston p uh, that is 15.24 meter per second so similarly uh, we can find out the acceleration of this piston p uh, here there is a piston so its acceleration uh, that we have to find out and uh, for that formula is what acceleration of p is equal to omega square into uh, o n distance now omega square that is the angular uh, the velocity and here uh, you see this o to n it represents the acceleration of p with respect to o so therefore we have to take this o n distance which already uh, we measured it is you will get the 0.2 meter so we will put uh, the 120 square into 0.2 uh, then we will get the acceleration of p that is the acceleration of the piston uh, that is 2880 meter per second square this is the first uh, we found out velocity and acceleration of the uh, piston now uh, the second uh, we have to find out velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod so this is the p to c is the connecting rod and here it is the uh, midpoint so its uh, velocity and acceleration we have to find out right 
So, uh, we know that uh, the P to C uh, on which there is a point D. So, this is the point D, we can say this is the midpoint of PC. <coughs> Sorry. Now, uh, the P to C uh, velocity represents that is C to M. So, as this point D is the midpoint of the PC, similarly, so C to M the midpoint that we have to uh, mark. So, here we will mark the midpoint uh, that is the dm. So, this is the midpoint and then uh, this c to uh, d1 or d1 to m, these two are the equal because this is the midpoint, right. So, what we will do, we will join this d1 to o. Now, see what they said, the velocity and acceleration of the midpoint. So, the velocity and acceleration of the midpoint they said. Uh, if you measure uh, this c to d1, it is the relative velocity you will get. So, velocity of d with respect to c or velocity of d with respect to m, right. So, that you uh, will get. That is the relative velocity. So, here the absolute velocity that we have to uh, refer from the reference. So, this o to d1 distance we have to take. So, that is what the velocity of the midpoint d uh, we will get. And now, by measurement, uh, if you measure this O to D1, uh, you will get 140 uh, mm distance and uh, that will convert into the meter that is 0 0.14 meter. Now, velocity of D, uh, we know that again, if you want to velocity, then omega into uh, the distance O D1. So, we will put omega it is 120 uh, radian per second and the distance O to D1 just now we found out that is 0 0.14. Uh, therefore, we will get velocity of the midpoint of this connecting rod that is the D uh, that is the 16.8 uh, meter per second, right. Uh, then again, uh, we have to find out the acceleration of the uh, midpoint. Uh, in order to find out the acceleration of the midpoint, uh, the connecting rod, what we have to do, draw the line D to D2. So, what we will do, uh, this is D, here we will draw the uh, horizontal line. So, as this is the D midpoint. So, from this point, you have to draw the parallel line uh, to this. So, here we have taken the parallel line and uh, where the final acceleration, C to N is the final acceleration and this horizontal line where it cuts, uh, that the uh, point we will uh, mark. So, that point it becomes the D2, right. So, this is the point D2. So, this uh, P to C is the connecting rod, uh, midpoint is the D of this connecting rod. Similarly, C to N is the final acceleration of this connecting rod and again we have to locate midpoint. So, from this point we taken the parallel line uh, to this and here uh, it cuts to the final acceleration that is the point in D2. Now, again we will join this uh, as they have said acceleration of the midpoint. So, from reference you have to take. So, here O to D2 distance this we have to take and that we have to uh, measure. So, O to D2 you will get uh, that is 193 mm and again we will convert into the uh, meter that is 0 0.193 meter we will get. And uh, we know that the acceleration of this midpoint D is equal to that is omega square into this distance O to D2, right. So, 120 square into O to D2 that is 0 0.193 meter. So, we will get the acceleration of the midpoint D that is 2779.2 meter per second square. So, this is the second we found out the velocity and acceleration of the uh, midpoint. Now, the last uh, we have to find out the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the uh, connecting rod, right. So, we know that uh, the angular velocity of the connecting rod is equal to omega of this PC that is the connecting rod. So, if we remember this is right. So, P uh, this is C and this is the O. So, here it is the midpoint. So, this is the connecting rod. It is angular velocity you need. Uh, we know the equation angular velocity of connecting rod PC is equal to velocity of PC divided by the distance PC. That is V is equal to R into omega. This is R is what the distance. We know the basic equation. So, uh, we know the velocity of P with respect to C from this uh, already we calculated that is 20.76 and the C to P distance that is the 700 mm, so 0.7 meter. So, we get the angular velocity of this, the connecting rod, the 29.66 radian per uh, second. Similarly, uh, when uh, we want to calculate the angular acceleration, at that point we need the tangential acceleration, right. So, the tangential acceleration of the P with respect to uh, C is equal to omega square into 
uh, n. So again, uh, just I will take to the previous slide. So here it is. So this is the radial acceleration and this is the tangential acceleration. This tangential uh, acceleration we have, we have to uh, calculate. So here the tangential acceleration of p with respect to c is equal to omega square into q to n distance. So omega it is uh, 120 right and its square into this q and distance already we uh, calculated from the acceleration diagram that is 0 0.093. So from this you will get the tangential acceleration of p with respect to uh, c and we have to find out the angular acceleration right. So therefore uh, we know that the alpha is the angular acceleration we can say. So angular acceleration of p with respect to c. So angular acceleration of p with respect to c that is the uh, connecting rod. So here we need the tangential acceleration of uh, p with respect to c divided by the uh, length of that connecting rod that is p to c r distance. So for that we calculated here tangential acceleration. So we will put the angular acceleration of pc is equal to tangential acceleration 1339.2 and the distance that is the 0.7 and we will get the angular acceleration of the connecting rod that is 1913.14 uh, radian per second square. So in this way uh, we can find out uh, the all unknown which they ask uh, right. So this is what the Klins construction which is the very uh, easy method uh, just uh, thing is what you have to draw the diagram correctly and from that you have to measure and you have to calculate. I hope you understood. Uh, thank you.